So arithmetic sequences and series, there's a good chance that you'll get some sort of simultaneous equation style question, where you put the information into the formula and you get two unknown variables. So in that case, you need to find a way to put it into two different formulas with those two unknown variables. So let's see what we've got. We've got a sum of the first 30 terms is this, and we've got the fourth term is this. So what I'm going to do is take this information and put it into a formula, and I'm going to take this information and put it into a separate formula. So let's do the arithmetic sequence part first. It says the sum of the first 30 terms is this. So we know the sum of an arithmetic sequence formula already. It looks like that. And then we can put that information into it. So the sum is equal to 2490, the sum of the first 30 terms, so 30 divided by 2, 2 times the first term, which we don't know, plus n minus 1, 30 terms, so n minus 1 is 29d. All right, so you can see here that it's pretty clear we have two unknowns, first term and the common difference, which is the thing we're trying to determine, the first term and the common difference. All right, so what about this one here? The fourth term is 14. No mention of a sum there. So it's not our sum formula we're using. We're using our arithmetic sequence formula, which is this one right here. So term n equals term 1 plus n minus 1 d. It says the fourth term is 14. Okay, so we don't know what the first term is. We don't know what the common difference is. But we know that n minus 1, fourth term, so n minus 1 is 3, and we know that that term is 14. So now what we have is one equation and a second equation. And if we could solve those equations simultaneously, we'd have an answer. Of course, don't forget your little plus in there. Let's solve it. So using my graphics calculator to solve those two simultaneous equations, I get term 1 equals negative 4 and d equals 6. Now, of course, you can check that, right? Because you can put those values back into this equation, make sure it works. You can put those values back into this equation, make sure it works. Make sure it's giving you the information you initially had in the question. Now, if you're not sure how to do this on your graphics calculator, make sure you call me over and we'll talk about exactly how to do that on your graphics calculator. Otherwise, that's arithmetic series and simultaneous equations.